everyone, I hope you're all doing well and taking care and welcome to this brand new Doc 2 video on the channel. So first up, I would like to apologise that I'm very late to the game. Unfortunately, I've just been busy with both work and Christmas over the last few days, so I haven't had a chance to do a video on that, so apologies that I'm quite late to the game. But today, I am of course here to talk about the new Doctor Who trailer for Doctor Who the 60th Anniversary Specials next November. Now, I was very surprised that we got a trailer on Christmas Day. I wasn't expecting a proper trailer until maybe summer 2023 with San Diego Comic Con, because I'm expecting Doc 2 to go there, that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, we got a trailer on Christmas Day. I have seen some concerns that maybe it's a bit too early and it's proof the marketing campaign is going to burn out at some point, but I'm not worried about that at all. I think it was just a Christmas treat from Russell T. Davis since for the first time since 2005 we haven't had a new Doctor Who episode air over the festive period. So I'm thinking Russell was like, you know what, we've not got an episode this year unfortunately, but let's give them a trailer. And I'm very grateful for that. I would rather have something over the festive period rather than nothing at all. Right, so let's talk about this trailer. And I guess the best place to start would be with the Doctor Donna, because this trailer confirms that at least for the start of these specials, Donna's memories of the Doctor will not have been restored. And there was this bittersweet moment where Donna was talking to her mum about how it felt something was lovely, was missing from her life. So I'm glad they're going to go a bit more in depth with that and show us what Donna's life has been like since the Doctor removed her her memories and it gave me a bit of a callback to Hellbent because the Doctor learned a bit of a lesson in Hellbent from Clara about how he can't go around just taking away people's memories without their consent because it means a lot to them and changes them as a person so I wonder if that'll be a bit of an arc through these specials where Donna tells the Doctor he was in the wrong to take her memories away and the effects that that's had on her. So yeah, I'm interested to see where that goes. I'm glad that we're going to go a bit more in depth with that. And I just can't wait to see the big reunion between the Doctor and Donna. They are definitely one of my favourite TARDIS duos out there. And obviously we saw them hug in the trailer. So I'm guessing probably near the end of the first special because I don't think they'll drag it on. I do think Donna's memories will be restored and yeah there'll be a nice reunion and then we'll, we might get a bit of tension between them both as the Doctor finds out how Donna's life has been affected by her memories removal. We also got to see Donna's mum in the trailer and we also got our first look at Rose played by Yasmin Finney. We still don't know who Yasmin Finney is going to be playing but my best bet is, is it's most definitely going to be Donna's daughter because that just makes a lot of sense. So yeah, it's nice to see the Donna family, all of them back. We haven't seen Wilf, but it has been confirmed by Rachel Talley, the director on Twitter, that he hasn't been cut or anything, so Wilf will be there. I just imagine we'll see him on a later trailer down the line. And we also got a new character introduced in the trailer, played by Ruth Malady. Now, I really like Ruth. I've seen her before in years and years. She's a very good, talented actress, and I'm looking forward to finding out who she's playing in the show. Ha nothing has been confirmed as of yet. However, there's been rumours for a while that she's going to be playing a unit soldier. So, um, a unit scientist, maybe. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing her in the show because, like I said, I have seen her before in years and years, and she is really good. I also believe she plays a companion in the Sixth Doctor era, for a big finish but apparently she's not playing that same character on TV Doctor Who so she's playing a new character we don't know who that is yet but my guess is it's probably going to be a unit soldier or a unit scientist as rumours have said for a while. In terms of the villains we got our first look at Beat the Meep in the trailer and I have to say I am extremely impressed with how Beat the Meep looks. I was a bit worried with Beat the Meep mostly going to be CGI that maybe it wouldn't look the best but I have to say my expectations have risen so much here because Beat the Meep looks excellent, he looks wonderful, he looks very realistic, he looks very cute and adorable as we thought he would and yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the show. If you don't know who Beat the Meep is, basically he is from old Doctor Who comics back in the 1970s or 1980s I believe and in the comics he tricks people into believing he's in trouble, like he's a good guy, but in the end it turns out he's like the mastermind, he's the villain of the story. So my guess for the plot from this trailer is Rose, Donna's daughter probably, is going to find Beat the Meep. Beat the Meep is going to pretend that these monsters are after him and that he needs Rose's help. The Doctor's 
probably going to come into it and help Beat the Meep. And then in the end, probably at the end of the first special, because I believe that's when Beat the Meep will be appearing, it's going to be revealed that Beat the Meep is actually the villain and he's tricked the Doctor and Rose into helping him. So yeah, that's my guess, just going off how the comic formula normally goes. We also got a look at the other villains from the comics and that was the Wrath Warriors who again look really good especially with the big creepy red eyes and the creepy claws. I'm looking forward to seeing them as well in the show. The Wrath Warriors are also from the comics the same as Beat the Meep and they are basically like a police force alien race similar to the Jadun and normally in the comics they are hunting to arrest Beat the Meep. So I'm guessing they are invading planet Earth because we see them Go up against unit in this trailer and they're going to be looking for beat the meep but beat the meep is going to pretend that he's innocent and in all this but in reality he's not the wrath warriors are after him for good reason so yeah i'm looking forward to most likely this being the first episode of the specials it's looking very fun very explosive and i think it's going to be just a fun and explosive start to the 60th anniversary specials nothing too serious for the first episode we also as well got our look at the main villain of these specials who is going to be Neil Patrick Harris's character. I have seen a lot of speculation because the waistcoat he is wearing in the trailer is quite similar to the 14th Doctor's waistcoat so I have seen some theories that maybe that's proof he's going to be playing the Val Yard. However, I don't think the waistcoat is the exact same waistcoat, but I could be wrong on that. Maybe that is proof he's playing like an evil version of the Doctor. That would be quite epic, especially for the 60th anniversary. But my theory, the likely one, is he is still playing the Toymaker because from filming, we've just seen lots of proof that he is playing the Toymaker. And it makes sense because that would explain why the Doctor has regenerated into basically the same incarnation as the 10th Doctor again. It also explains probably how Donna comes into it and her memories aren't like destroyed when she's reunited with the Doctor. It's probably because the Toymaker is messing around with the Doctor's life and causing a bit of chaos for these specials. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. There was also this shot of Neil Patrick Harris's character like covered with all these red flowers and I have seen some speculation that could be like a musical number scene and I kind of get that it could be like part of a musical scene not a musical episode because Russell T. Davis has already said he's not really into musical Doctor Who episodes but maybe a musical number because especially from How I Met Your Mother Neil Patch Harris is known for playing musical numbers so maybe we'll get a bit of a musical scene in one of these specials but I'm very looking forward to meeting all of these villains especially Beat the Meep and the Wrath Warriors in these big specials coming our way next November. Overall this trailer in my opinion was one of the best Doctor Who trailers we've had in years. It was excellent and I'm now so excited for these 60th anniversary specials especially with this coming out obviously the specials coming out next November just before Christmas I genuinely believe Beat the Meep could give it Baby Yoda a bit of running for his money I could imagine Beat the Meep merch being everywhere next Christmas that would be nice to see Doctor Who back in all these kind of toy stores and stuff like that but um yeah I'm really looking forward to these specials we have a long wait still it's not airing until November there was some speculation that maybe an earlier release date would be confirmed with this trailer but no it's still n next November but I trust Russell T. Davis I think we'll get a lot more exclusives throughout next year on Doctor Who series 14 filming and on the 60th anniversary specials and I'm expecting we will get the next trailer probably at San Diego Comic Con in summer 2023 because it makes sense that Doctor Who would be there with a big present for its 60th anniversary. But there we go guys, thank you all for watching this video. Sorry again, I'm quite late to the game, I've just been busy over the last few days. But yeah, subscribe for future Dog 2 content on the channel. And yeah guys, thank you all very much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye for now. Sometimes I think there's something missing. Like I had something lovely. I don't know who I am anymore. The show is just beginning. World Ride premiere. Who are they? Monsters. I don't believe in destiny, but if destiny exists, then it is heading for Donna Noble. Open fire! If she ever remembers me, she will die. You mean man? He's not there. You can't see him. How <laughs> Tell me what the hell is going on here?